That was Dana again. They picked up Vic last night. She's insisting you go to the hospital. Hello? You son of a bitch. Chris, where's Imani? You have some nerve calling here. I didn't do anything, Crystal. You raped my sister. I wouldn't do that. I didn't touch her. I mean, look, she wanted it. Says the rapist. Crystal, please. Just let me talk to her. I promise you, I did not force myself on her. Just let me talk to her. I don't want to talk to anybody. It's Vic. So hang up. Imani. I really hope this wasn't your one phone don't call. Don't do this, Imani. I was with Vic last night and he was happy to be out. I, I don't believe it. Why, because he's your best friend? He's your friend, too. And do you honestly think Vic is capable of rape? Well, you know, I wouldn't think it, but he is a drug addict. He's clean. Addicts will always be addicts. And he was resentful that Imani divorced him. He's over that. Then why was seeing her the first thing he did when he got out? Well, that doesn't mean that he raped her. Prison changes people, Ben. He may not be the same person he was when he went in. See, that's why Vic needed rehab. Not jail time. There are people that need jail time, and Vic was not one of them. I, I don't believe it. He's not capable of rape. It's usually the people closest to you that surprise you the most. Like... For example, how did it take me 10 years to discover that you are ticklish? <laughs> Stop. Don't do that. <sighs> I wish I knew how to help Imani. Wait, didn't you just call her a bitch last week? <laughs> ben, that doesn't mean that we're not friends. <sighs> I can't imagine what she's going through. Imani, you can't stay in these clothes. You need to go to the hospital. What are you gonna do? I don't know. Imani. Did the Vic really rape you? Can you even ask me that? You don't believe me? Vic wouldn't hurt you. You obviously don't know him like you think you do. He's hurt me more than you could ever imagine. Not physically. You don't know anything. And if you can't support me, why are you even here? Where else would I be? I don't know. Holding Vic's hand? I'm here because I love you. Then act like it, Crystal. And if you can't, then there's the door. It's mom. What the hell is she doing here? Did you call her? No, I didn't think you'd want to deal with her. I know I don't want to deal with her, but I did drop Asia off last night. Do not mention Vic to her. I can't take the lecture right now. As long as you promise not to mention my life to her. Oh, shit. You know what I love about you? I can make a list. My stamina. <laughs> That's on there. My well-muscled body. Yeah. <laughs> my ability to do the hot Aussie accent in the sack. <laughs> oh, yeah. But that's not it. It's your eyes. If we had kids, I'd want them to have your eyes. Any kid with our DNA would rule the world. With your sexiness and my eyes, 
I have to go to work. No, don't run off. I'm not running off. I have to go to work. It is Thursday. You work the past three Sundays. I don't want to fight. I have to be in the office today. Losing Los Ricos was a big hit to the label, and Rick feels as if he's shouldering the burden. You work just as much as he does. It's a competition thing for him. We had a big blowout when I left early the other day. Over nothing. He's such a jackass. How about we talk about it tonight, then? We have this great life. And all these great things, baby. Gabby, you know I don't want to have kids. So what? The topic is off the table because you don't want them? So it's whatever Dennis wants and screw me, huh? Gabby. Go to work, Dennis. Hey, it's for horses, young lady. Yes, ma'am. Guess what? I was at my nana's house, and my cousin was there to play with me when I woke up. Really? Aren't you lucky? <laughs> Thanks for watching her, Mom. You're welcome. I want to see my granddaughters. Crystal, how are you? Still gay, Ma. How are you? Don't say that in front of her. Must you be so vulgar? Did Asia make it to school on time? Of course, I may not see her enough, but late night phone calls to take care of your responsibilities is not okay. What is going on? Nothing, Mom. Hi, Cousin Asia said that my dad was home, is he? If he is, it won't be for long. He's a bad man. Mom, do not tell her that. Why not? She should know the truth. Okay, I can't deal with this, Imani. If you need anything, call me, okay, sweetie? Where did we go wrong with that girl? Mom, Crystal is successful. She just didn't follow your ethics. Well, that's a matter of opinion. She left her husband for a woman who couldn't be faithful to her? A divorced woman her age struggling to raise a child alone? That sounds a lot like me. And I followed your advice. But there is a difference in money. You regain your senses, and I warned you against marrying that musician in the first place. He was never good for you. No, Mom, he was never good enough for you. And he proved me right, didn't he? Val, you want a cookie, baby? Yeah. Come on. Say goodbye to your grandma. Goodbye. Your son? Yeah. That's Tate. <laughs> He's tall. He takes after his dad. Um, so what's going on? Is he, is he out? The public defender says they can't hold him without pressing charges. That's good. I want a new lawyer, though. I don't trust that guy to find his ass with a flashlight. <laughs> Listen, I gotta get Tate home, but why don't you follow me in your car? Linda, and no, no, I, I can't do that. What do you mean? I said I can't do this. Then why are you here? A friend. I'm here to see your friend. Hey, Mom, can we go now? Yeah. Good luck. Knock, knock. Who's there? I love. I love who? I love you, tell me. <laughs> I love you. That's who I love. Mommy, can you tell my daddy say sorry? What are you talking about, sweetie? Nana said he was bad and he couldn't come home if he's sorry. Maybe he can come visit me. Well, it doesn't work like that for grown-ups, sweetie. But love, he's really, really sorry.
How'd you get in here? I told him I was your lawyer. <laughs> Thanks for coming, man. Yeah, man. How you holding up? Barely. I don't know if I can go through this again. So what's going down? I mean, has uh, Monty officially pressed charges? As far as I know, no. But that's not keeping them from holding me. Well, how can they do that? My parole. Man, they barely need a reason to send me back without even a trial. My lawyers are working on it, but I'm counting the hours. Can't believe this. Dude, I did everything right, including two years in prison for something that I didn't do. Why does she do this to me? Maybe she regrets it. Eh, you know, how did it go down? Was it consensual? Of course. What, you think I forced myself on Nah, uh -huh, no, man, I'm just, you know, like maybe you didn't hear her or something. What, am I deaf? She wanted me, Ben. <sighs> My bad, man. I admit, I did a little convincing, but she was definitely into it before we got down. And she's just fucking with me. Maybe she's hurt. You try talking to her? Nothing's hurt but her feelings. You know you can't talk to Monty once she made up her mind. Hmm. She never believed those weren't my drugs. That's where all this started, man. I need to find out who put that shit in my car. <laughs>